Okay, guys, we're going to do a pick a card reading today. This is going to be, um, will your person contact you? Um, so just focus, concentrate, um, decide which geode you want. We've got yellow, pink, and green. Um, we're going to dive into the tarot and see what answers we can get as far as what's going on, um, what you can expect, maybe some reasoning behind um, the silent treatment that you're getting, okay? Um, this is a general reading, all right? It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, uh, leave the rest. Um, it is not sign specific, nor is it gender specific, okay? So take it as it resonates, guys. If you want to book a personal reading with me, that information is in the description box below. I will leave timestamps for each of these in the description box below, and let's do this. Okay, if you chose the yellow geode, this is your reading. Let's do it. Okay, so we are going to be looking into... Um, Will your person be contacting you soon? Okay. Um, these This reading is, is obviously for people who are not in contact with their person. Um, maybe there's been a silent treatment. Maybe there's been some blocking. But we're going to see what answers we can get, what we can get to come through. Okay. Um, I just want to shuffle as I talk about this and just kind of see what energies we can muster up. Okay. Um, I think I'm also going to use some tarot. Or not some tarot, I'm sorry, some oracle cards. <laughs> All right, we are in Mercury retrograde, okay? So that is the time, you know, that exes tend to come back. That's just the way that goes. So let's see what we can get here. Okay, those are shuffled. I'm going to shuffle some oracle cards, and we're going to see what we can get for your person. Okay. Those are, I mean, they're shuffled anyway. I just see if we can get some energy regarding your person. Horse spirit. Freedom is yours. Okay. So this is card number 33. Okay. We all know about those mirror numbers. So let's see what we can get. Four of Cups. So I feel like they have just recently gotten away from something, someone out of something. And I, I do feel like they are, are running, running loose. Let's see what else we can find out about your person. I think they were just tied up with another energy in another relationship. Yep. Now they're alone and they're really thinking about things, right? Wow, three cards in a row of, of really thinking about things, okay? I do think that they're thinking about you, but I think that they're going within, looking for some answers, trying to see things from all different perspectives. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces. Don't have to be. You could be. Um, we have the Strength card here, too. Could be dealing with a Lion. Um, I think that a Lion, a Leo, good gravy people. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these cards out. Wow, uh, this is almost all major arcana. So what I feel like is going on here is I feel like your person has cut themselves loose from something, okay? And what I see is them putting themselves first right now. I see them really um, thinking about their situation, um, trying to manifest a new beginning for themselves, and really trying to hold themselves um, in very high regard, put themselves first so that they can heal and, and get back on track, okay? Um, I also feel like your person is um, in a pretty good headspace right now. So let's get um, let's get some clarifiers and see what we can find out uh, for your person as far as some clarifiers, okay? Um, this Four of Cups, I feel like they may be reflecting on on the past, but I do feel like they've been in a relationship with someone and they're finally, they're coming out of it. Um, I think it was a hard go for them. I think it was, um, a little bit rough for them. I think they gave it everything they had. Okay. Which is why, um, they're kind of coming out of the gate with this, with this renewed sense of freedom because 
while they gave themselves, you know, all of themselves to this person, that person also took all of what they gave them, right? So I feel like they finally feel like they belong to themselves again. And they're really thinking about how to go forward with their future. They want what's what's in their in their highest good. I feel like this person is at a pretty high vibration. Um, you know, they've 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 done the work, the soul searching, the contemplating, the thinking, the looking at things from all angles to make sure that they are are making the right decision. Um, asking spirit for for guidance and strength and. And now beginning to manifest things. And what they want is this empress energy, right? They are holding themselves in very high regard. They want somebody who does the same. Um, they want somebody who is going to, you know, be in their highest good, right? So let's see what we can find out. Let's clarify this four of cups. Four of cups, four of cups. Why is this four of cups here? The higher font. They're really reflecting on relationships they've had. Um, trying to trying to get answers, trying to understand things, trying to learn the lessons that they need to learn um, so that it doesn't affect their future. That's I really feel like they are in a very high vibration right now. Um, yeah, they, they don't want to mess anything up going forward. They're ready to move forward, but they're trying to really learn their lessons they need to le learn and cut out or get rid of what needs to be cut out, right? So let's clarify this hermit. Why is this hermit here? Yeah, they don't ever want to be in a situation where they feel stuck and bound, um, not able to move, um, not having freedom, okay, within a relationship. They don't ever want to feel like that again. They don't They don't want to be, you know, in the position ever again to, to feel as restricted as they've felt in the past. So they're really thinking about things. Um, doing that shadow work, right? Um admitting to themselves, you know, their mistakes and learning from it and, and trying to just forgive and go forward. Right. But you know, that's a process. We all have to do that work. Right. So this hanged man, um, could be dealing with a Pisces, right? The hermit, um, is Virgo. The hanged man is Pisces. The moon is cancer Pisces. The hierophant is Taurus. Um, not that that necessarily means anything, guys. We're going to get a lot of signs show up here, okay? So um, why is this hanged man here? Seeing things from all perspectives, not going forward until they've learned these lessons, figured it out, wrapped their brain around it, right? Kind of a self-imposed um, suspension. Yeah, so that so that when they go forward, it works out for them with this Wheel of Fortune. They want that, that wheel to be spinning in their favor. Um, they don't want to repeat the same mistakes. Yeah, they want to heal. Um, they want to be patient with themselves. They want to bring something to them that um, is in their highest interest, right? This is a card of, of alchemy also, but it's more of a, a universal alchemy. Like this is um, our higher power working behind the scenes to help us and guide us and bring us the things that we're supposed to have. That's where the magician card is us manifesting, right? So we have this strength here. This is them really asking for strength, bravery, courage, patience, um, and to be guided to the right decisions, to the right place. Yeah, so that they don't have to spend those sleepless nights again. And, and I think they're worried about repeating patterns, okay? And I think that between you two, you know, you guys went on your journey and it probably just wasn't the right time. There was, there was probably ineffective communication, um, which ultimately led to this, this silent treatment and them going forward with someone else. But right now they're really working on things and trying to see things for what they are so that they don't repeat these patterns. Yeah, they don't want to be confused anymore. They really want to um, uncloud their judgment. They want to know exactly what they're getting into. And they're going to do that by putting the work in. And, and that's what they've been working on. Okay, and now they're in this position of manifesting. Uh, Queen of Cups, they have the biggest cup of love um, in the deck for themselves. And, and they want somebody that will uh, mirror that energy. You know, they want somebody that feels that way about themselves so that the two of you can feel that way about each other. Okay. Wow. Could be dealing with a twin flame energy. Um, you two may be mirroring one another. If you chose this card and you guys are, here's the strength coming out. Um, 
So I do feel like you guys are mirroring one another. If you chose this card or this pile and you are really doing some shadow work, really trying to work on yourself, really trying to learn from past mistakes, um, trying to see things at face value, you know, objectively and learn the lessons that you need to learn, then this, you two are mirroring one another. And I feel like as soon as you, you get through that work, um, you two will, will come together. So we've got this Empress energy, right? This nurturing, abundant, beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. So let's clarify the Empress. Yeah. Cutting ties, um, that are, are not good for you, that are not in your best interest, not necessarily feeling great about it. You know, this may be ending things with people that have been in your life or situations you've had in your life for a long time, but both of you, I feel like are really, um, changing for the better and kind of um, just just walking away and cutting ties from those that, you know, are in your higher good, okay? So the Five of Swords can also be winning at all cost, but I think you're you're putting yourself first at all cost, right? And And that's what we have to do, which is bringing you to a crossroads, right? Your person is at a crossroads. Um, they're tuning out everything external. They're still a little bit guarded. Oh, what fell out? So, yeah, they're still a little bit guarded, but they're trying to really focus and make the right decision. And the lovers, the four of swords and the eight of cups came out. So you two are soulmate twin flame energy. You're both in this process of healing and, and lying next to the, the sword of truth here, opening up your chakras, letting spirit in. And we've also got this eight of cups. I think both of you have walked away from things that no longer served you. I do think that you will come back into union. Let's see what the bottom of the deck says. So Queen of Wands could be dealing with a fire sign. And, you know, I feel like this is you really waiting for um, success with your person, a new beginning with your person. And here they come, okay, with this wish. Being in this Two of Swords energy after going through this conflict, um, here's your card of reconciliation. I don't, I don't even need to go any farther. That is beautiful energy, guys. I feel like... Um, Gosh, I, don't, I just don't even feel like we need to pull any more cards. Um, so that is your reading for will your person communicate with you? Um, yes, I think they will. Um, I can't say exactly when, but I do feel like you two are mirroring each other. So continue doing the work that you're doing. Continue putting yourself first. Um, you know, self-love, self-care, healing, forgiveness, all of those kinds of things. And I think when you get towards the end of that journey, things are going to start to look up for you, for you and your person. All right, guys. Love you hard. Love me back. Hello, hello. If you chose the pink geode cluster, this is your reading. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the tarot. We're going to see what's going on with your person, find out what, what we can find out, kind of a top secret spy mission, right? See if we can figure out what's going on with this silent treatment or this no contact, okay? It could be some blocking um, going on on social media. So let's just kind of find out what we have going on with you and your person, Um just going to shuffle here for a bit while I discuss this. Get some energy moving and flowing. I am using the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann. It is a different, it's based on the traditional tarot, has all the same cards. Um, it just looks very different. It's very abstract. It's very beautiful. Um, the star just fell out, so looking good so far, right? Um, I feel like... Um, I feel like a lot of people right now, especially with this Mercury retrograde, um, there's going to be a lot of X's coming back, guys. Some good, some not so good, right? So let's just see what we can find out about you and your person and this silent treatment. All right, that feels good. All right, I'm going to get a card, um, an Oracle card. We're just going to kind of see if we can take a peek, see what's up. All right. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. So already I feel like the reason that you two are not speaking to one another right now is because there's some lessons you both had to learn. I feel like when you came together the first time, um, it just wasn't the right time. Okay. Just was not the right time. So let's see what Tarot has to say um, and see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, guys, card number 16, Coyote Spirit, 
Trust in divine detours, right? We don't always get there the way we wanted to get there, but we get there. Okay. Let's find out what we can find out. The Fool, bottom of the deck. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So the world. The Ace of Cups, which is Ace of Emotions in this deck. The Nine of Voices, which is the Nine of Swords. The Knight of Emotions, which is the Knight of Cups. The Four of Voices, which is the Four of Swords. And the Page of Voices, which is the Page of Swords. With that, uh, let's put this over here. With that Fool on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you guys had some cycles um, to complete, right? Apart from one another, apart from your person. Um, this could have even involved you two being at a distance, okay? But I do feel like you guys are coming into completion of some of these cycles. And with this Ace of Cups, I feel like you're going to be coming into um, this energy of, of um, a new beginning in love after a long period of working on something. This Nine of Swords is, you know, fear, anxiety, stress, sleepless nights. I think that um, you might not be completely done going through this. Um, we do have this... Or your person. I mean, I think this is very similar. This could be you. This could be them. With this Knight of Cups, though, there's going to be the energy to go forward. There's still some healing, it looks like, with this Four of Swords that needs to be done, right? Um, I do think one or both of you are spying on each other, right? Let's get some clarifiers. We're going to dive into, into the traditional Rider Waite. See what we can dig up about your person here. Okay. So let's start up here at the top with this, um, the world card. Let's clarify this. Why is the world here? Yeah, change. Um, fives in tarot, the five of swords here. Fives are always about change. Um, putting yourself first, winning at all costs. I think, you know, one or both of you definitely had some situations you needed to get out of, some people you needed to get away from. You know, you, you kind of just had to do this. It didn't feel good, but change is always uncomfortable, right? It's just a cycle that you had to go through. And here we have another five, five of wands. Um, a lot of conflict, chaos, um, competition, just some, some general upheaval in your life that was a cycle you had to go through, both of you, okay? One or both of you, but I feel like it's both of you. So Ace of Emotions, Ace of Cups. Why is this here? King of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign, male or female, doesn't matter. You could be a water sign, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, but I do feel like um, this new beginning is is a lot for yourself, right? You you really need to fall in love with yourself again. Find your find your place, find your footing, find your way, and and that can be a, a rocky a rocky trip, a rocky road, if you will, right? But I do feel like um, that's going to be um, really the beginning of you two coming back together because I do feel like you're coming back together. King of Swords, setting healthy boundaries, right? Um, there also could have been some competition between two, you know, anytime we have two kings, that to me will oftentimes um, tell me that there's been some conflict or competition, right? Um, so they may have been putting someone else first before them. And now they're laying down those healthy boundaries, you know, speaking their truth, moving forward in their best interest. Okay. Nine of swords. Why is this here? Why is this nine of swords here? The Hierophant reflecting on, um, past relationships, but also just really trying to be a student of life, trying to learn, forgive, move on, um, take what they need from the situations they were given and leave the rest, right? Learn those important lessons so that they can get that new start. We've got the fool twice now, okay? So I do feel like that's going to really lighten their load. That's going to set them free from a lot of things. Um, so this Knight of Cups, what do we have for the Knight of Cups? Why is this here? Yeah, 
Eight of Pentacles. They are really working on themselves. They're working on their, I mean, how they view themselves, um, how they feel about themselves. They're working on um, breaking old patterns and cycles. And they're and they're they may very well also be working um, on their money situation. For some of you, this person may have had to leave because they had to travel for um, a job, right? So Knight of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. And here they're coming back around, right? That's their goal. That's what they're working towards. That's what they want. Um, that very balanced, focused, mentally, um, just very mentally focused energy with the chariot. Could be a cancer. Doesn't have to be. Four of swords. This is like them healing, them taking their time to heal, investing in themselves, which is always good, right? Yeah, and the universe investing in them right back. That's what you get when you invest in yourself, is the universe invests in you right back. Healing, providing you um, with balance, um, and, and working behind the scenes to bring to you what is rightfully yours, okay? Wow, the tower. So I feel like, first of all, I feel like when this person left, or when you left, take it as it resonates, it, it really shook you to your very core. And now I feel like they are breaking down everything in their life that is not built on a solid foundation so that they can rebuild. They are taking like an inventory of the things in their life um, and getting rid of anything that is not in their highest good, right? They're literally um, burning it all to the ground is what I'm getting, okay? Because they want to rebuild. They want something stronger, bigger, taller, built to last longer, including themselves. They want the bigger picture, okay? So we come down here to this page of voices, which is the page of swords. I feel like you two are both um, kind of watching each other online, maybe asking mutual friends or family members about one another, kind of doing a little spying, a little, a little, um, <laughs> a little uh, incognito work, right? Um, Trying to stay strong throughout this, asking, you know, the universe for patience, for strength, for bravery to get through this. It's been hard, I think, for both of you. Um, finally, um, getting this opportunity for a new beginning in truth to finally say the things that you've wanted to say and them to say the things that they wanted to say. Um, and also maybe a chance for both of you to talk about um, the past and why it worked out the way that it did or didn't work out the way that it did. Um, I think that those detours that you took, we've got this coyote spirit trust in divine detours. Those were all, you know, whatever, whatever reason you guys weren't together was very divinely guided and was something that you both needed to do. Okay. Um, so I do really feel like that is, that's what's going on here. We've got, you know, you guys are really going to be able to come together and, um, speak your truth and, and get a new opportunity to be together, right? Get another opportunity to be together. So bottom of the deck, we have this uh, fool energy, right? That leap of faith, that fresh new beginning with the page of wands. Here they are coming to communicate. Here they are coming your way, right? After um, this time in their life and in your life, when you felt alone, abandoned, right? Out in the cold, um, could have involved a third party. A third party doesn't have to be a person, right? Maybe they chose this um, this out of town work situation um, above you, and that really broke you and hurt you, and um, you know just brought in all this all this sadness. You can see those eyes up at the top crying, right? Well, here they are, ready to ready to build something solid with you, right? The Four of Pentacles, holding on for assured success, wanting to build something with a solid foundation with you. And this Muse of Emotions again. This is the King of Cups. We had this. We had this up here in this deck. This is the King of Cups. Okay, this is the same card. And I do feel like you two are mirroring one another. You both had some lessons to learn, some things to go through. Um, Eight of Voices. Yeah, you both had some things to go to go through to get unstuck. And King of Swords, interesting, interesting. We had the King of Swords and the King of Cups, both both decks, both decks now, okay? So you guys are mirroring one another. You're going to get a chance to speak your truth, lay healthy boundaries, come together in a sense of um, truth and 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 have this new beginning. And here we have the Six of Cups and the Sun, okay? Card of Reconciliation 
and the sun. And then right underneath the sun, we have the three of cups, another card of reconciliation. This is coming, guys. Keep doing the work that you're doing. Keep believing in yourself. Keep healing. Keep keep striving for the best and understand that this le this this time apart was a lesson for both of you. You needed to learn. You've got, you know, something in here that that had to be learned, something you had to go through. Um but it does look like there's a really good chance for you guys to come together. So I feel like Mercury Retrograde may be working out in your favor. Thank you. See you next time. Hello, hello. If you chose this beautiful green geode, this is your reading. All right, let's find out what's going on with you and your person. I'm going to just kind of shuffle here as I go through this, get the energies moving and flowing. So we're going to look into um, what's going on with this kind of like silent treatment between you and your person. There could be some, some, uh, some blocking on social media, but regardless, you two are not in communication. Um... I already feel very strongly with those of you that chose this, that it's killing you. Like you feel like you just can't wait anymore. Um, you're going insane to put it mildly, right? We all know that spiral, you know, you start thinking about things, especially when you're laying there in the middle of the night and your brain just goes and goes and goes, right? So let's figure out what's going on. We're going to see what the tarot has to say, see what information we can get. Um, secret spy mission, <laughs> right? Okay, so let's get start with a an oracle card and just see if we can tap into your person's energy. What's going on with them right now? What's going on with your person right now? If I can shuffle, we'll be doing great, right? Good gravy. All right, what is going on with your person? What's their current energy? What do we need to know? We've got, wow, okay, so we had this, this, the last pile got this card too, but it's okay, we're going to take it. Trust in divine detours. So, hmm, well, let's see what we can find out. Okay, so it looks like there was, you know, there's probably a reason for this. Um, whether it will bring the two of you back together or not remains to be seen. But it does look like um, there was a reason for this this time apart, this breakup, this ending, whatever has happened that's left you two not talking to one another, okay? There was a reason for, for the higher good of both of you, I'm sure, okay? Let's see what we can find out. We've got the Eight of Swords, bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. The Emperor, the Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so with that Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I feel like there was a lot of push-pull, okay? I feel like... Um, there was this energy of wanting the Ten of Pentacles, and I think your person wanted that too. Um, and I think that you saw this person as your divine counterpart, and they saw you as theirs. Um, with this Emperor card. Could be a Taurus or an Aries you're dealing with, or you could have that in your chart. But I also think that there was some back and forth, right? There was this back and forth. It's like one minute it was hot, one minute it was cold, okay? And I think that... It ultimately led to kind of this, this standstill energy, this, this four of pentacles, this not moving, this very stagnant energy um, with both of you kind of wanting this, this ace of cups moment, this, this um, like new beginning for the both of you, new emotional beginning for both of you. And the energy I think was there. I think you both wanted it. I just think there was a lot of push pull. There was some things undone. Um, and with this eight of wands, um, ultimately your person took off, right? Or you took off one or the other. And when I say take off, I mean, whether that was mentally or physically or emotionally or whatever, but somebody left the situation. Okay. Someone left the situation, um, checked out, packed up, whatever, 
whatever it was. So let's go through and clarify um, these cards. Let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles, please. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there was a lot of things. So there were a lot of things that were not said. There may have been some secrets. There were some some shadow work that needed to be done, right? That Ten of Pentacles was never going to ever be fully illuminated um, while this moon energy was there because I feel like there was just a lot of a lot of healing and a lot of shadow work that needed to be done on both both parts. Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> I think you both just didn't have the the capacity to give everything. I don't know that anybody was doing it on purpose, but I feel like both of you um, just weren't, you know, running at max capacity. You just didn't have it to give to the other person. So you were both breadcrumbing each other and being breadcrumbed um, just as a, as a direct result of needing to do some more work and some more healing on yourself. Okay. So with this emperor, again, I think, you know, it's right at the top in the middle. I think, um, you know, you guys both really, um, saw each other as divine counterparts. Let's clarify this emperor three of swords, but it, yeah, it just wasn't, there was too much baggage from past relationships. I think, I'm not necessarily, it could have been about a third party and maybe some juggling, but let's just keep going. That may resonate for some of you, but probably the reason for any of that was just incomplete cycles from the past that that never really got wrapped up and um, not doing that shadow work afterwards, that healing afterwards, okay? Yeah, needing to, to bring things to an end, to complete some cycles before a new beginning could happen, but just never really quite getting there. So two of pentacles, why is this here? Why is the two of pentacles here? Ten of wands, yeah, you were guys were, you just still had some burdens to lay down, some things to wrap up, some things to finish. Um, and it weighed on you a lot. And that was why there was this kind of hot and cold energy. You know, some days you had more energy to deal with it than others. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it was very slow moving. You had some things to offer each other, uh, but it was a very slow moving or stagnant still energy simply because you hadn't wrapped up those previous cycles. Okay, so four of Pentacles. Why is this four of Pentacles here? This holding on to one another for assured success, but a very still stagnant energy again. Needing to do that inner work, right? Needing to go within, um, connect with your higher power, and make that make that uh, that that healing come into play, so that you could go forward, right? Trying to find your way, trying to get that self love back. The Queen of Cups has the biggest cup of love in the deck, right? But what she what she what she loves in herself, um, she needs from another person also. So you both, I feel like, just needed to get there. I feel like you both had some work to do, um, and that's why it didn't work out this time around, okay? Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords, yeah. To, in order to in order to have that new beginning in love, you guys really um, needed to heal, um, speak your truth, and lay down some healthy boundaries. It just never quite got to that, to that, right? You guys just, I feel like both of you didn't ever really complete all of the shadow work and this, this, these lessons and cycles that you needed to complete, okay? Two of Cups. Could be a twin flame. This feels twin flamey, but regardless, this person was in your life for a reason. There was, there was, um, you know, you guys have a soul tie, a soul contract, whatever you want to, however you want to look at that. But I feel like, oh gosh, I'm just dropping everything. I feel like you just were not ever able to come all the way together because of these unfinished things. Okay. Unfinished lessons, unfinished past. Things you guys just needed to lay to rest, okay? And Eight of Wands, it's like you guys just kind of, somebody somebody left. Somebody kind of went forward without the other one. And the world just tried to pop out. Somebody may have traveled. There it is again. Jesus. Can't make this up, guys. Um, somebody may have, have, you know, walked away, traveled away. Distance could be a thing. Um, regardless, it was for the purpose of closing out cycles, right? For the purpose of completing some lessons, in, a, in order to be able to go forward, right? Moving from the past, transitioning from that um, regrets, heartbreak, hurt from the past so that you can move forward. 
strength, bottom of the deck. Um, eight of Swords. Feeling very stuck in this relationship. Not understanding why you can't move forward. Um, King of Pentacles here. That's interesting. I feel like the energy was there for you two to, to really be... Um, you know, a good catch for one another. Because when I see the king or the queen of pentacles, to me, that indicates that somebody's a good, looks at you as a, as you're a good catch, right? Um, and they wanted this 10 of cups with you, but they had not completed some previous cycles. So, um, yeah, very twin flamey with the four of wands here, very twin flamey. So this hermit, both of you needed to do the work. Both of you needed to do that shadow work, ending those previous cycles. Um, princess of cups here is like the page of cups. Um, you had to do this before you guys can come forward, right? And I do feel like this is this person coming forward. Um, it's their wish fulfillment, right? They think about it all the time. And, and here they come, right? Now, this may very well result in an ending, but it also may very well result in something that clears the way for you two to rebuild this tower if you're willing to do the work, okay? You can have this commitment, page of wands. I do feel like you guys can have this together. I feel like you're not in contact for a reason. There's a specific reason, a specific lesson that the two of you had to learn. You had to go through. It was not ever going to work until you did. The energy for you to make it work is there, but it is going to be a lot of work. You are going to have to face this past. You're going to have to face your past. They're going to have to face their past. And you guys are going to have to really um, effectively communicate, effectively cope, effectively deal with this, and do so in a way that is conducive to a healthy new beginning. Okay? So the good news about this is, yes, I do see them coming forward. Um, there really is no bad news, to be honest with you. You've just got to face some things in your past, you know, that are probably unpleasant right? Um, which happens, you know, when we don't close out those cycles, when we don't really truly um, work on the issues that we have in our life, then we can't ever really move forward. We just continue to repeat um, bad cycles, right? You know, with, with outcomes that are not desirable, with maybe even people that we wouldn't normally choose, okay? So that's what I have for you. I really hope that this resonates. If you want to book a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me get my videos out to others, um, which I love. Um, and I hope to see you all next time. I love you hard. Love me back.